Mrs. Matilda Emisa Arthur has commended women who have sacrificed for the education and overall development of their children. Mrs. Emisa Arthur asserted that single mothers in the rural communities who toil to educate their children and career women whose roles in society have inspired others to excel in their various chosen professions are worth celebrating. Mrs. Emisa Arthur made the statement in an interview with GBC24 in connection with International Women's Day. Since the Beijing Declaration and Platform for Action, which has spearheaded the fight for women's rights, a lot of progress has been made. Women now juggle their careers with homekeeping and are still able to rub shoulders with their male counterparts in the perceived male-dominated fields. In an interview, the wife of the Vice President, Mrs. Matilda Misa Arthur, said the Beijing Declaration, which was made 20 years ago, has made it possible for women to voice out their concerns and be heard. The average woman just minded their business and was in their corner. Now, the average woman talks about education, talks about health, talks about industry, talks about mining, talks about governance. The average woman now has a voice. Mrs. Emisa Arthur says she would always praise women in the rural areas who break their backs for the sake of their families. The poor woman in my village, Esiyama, who has had somebody talk to them about education, and because of that, is ensuring that even though she is divorced, she's going to make sure that her children go to school, has achieved to me more than we are achieving in the cities. The wife of the vice president, who is a mother of two adults, a professional librarian and a grandmother, advised career women to plan their day for maximum benefit. On the occasion of International Women's Day, she said she is proud of African women, but especially Ghanaian women. I celebrate the Ghanaian woman who on her own is struggling in spite of all the odds to look after their families. I celebrate the vulnerable woman, the isolated woman, who doesn't have a hearing, who is always shut down by still striving to make the most of what she can do. Mrs. Emisa Arthur says she loves to support her husband, the vice president, Mr. Kwisi Emisa Arthur, and to be a role model for women and girls. Hey,